What up, what up, what up, everybody? Welcome to my channel, T Girl Magic Tarot. Yeah, yeah. Here to do a reading for my ch ch Gemini. My Gemini's. What's going on, Gemini? What is happening? Welcome, welcome. Cross Watcher, everyone here is loved and you're welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for all your continued love, your support, your subscriptions, your donations, your booked readings, Gemini, just everything you do for the channel. I so appreciate it and I love each and every one of you. Thank you. Um, uh, what else? Did I say it's a general message? It's not going to resonate with each and every Gemini. I vibe, cross watcher, whoever. So only takes what fits and leave the rest. Don't force anything. Okay, don't get greedy with the messages. And choir, come to the front so we can raise the elevations and the vibrations even more. All right? Now, new people, if you don't like singing, this is your time to exit stage left. Namaste. Have a good day. And, yeah. Um, one, two, three, four. Did I say one, two, three, four? One, two, three. Oh, T-Girl, Tarot, Magic and Collective. T-Girl, 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 Magic and Collective. T-Girl, Tarot, Magic and Collective. Come check us out and see what we're about. Ooh. We are Gemini, 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 Gemini. Gemini, we sing Gemini, 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 Gemini. Gemini, we are Gemini, 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 Yay, choir, round of applause, hallelujah, hallelujah. Okay, Gemini, let's get into it, let's get into it. Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, ascended masters of the highest white light, pure love only. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your love, your healing, your protective vibes. What is going on in Gemini's energy, Holy Spirit, angels, loved ones? What's going on? Oh, hold on, Gemini. Family, Lord, somebody feeling bad, Dad, child, wait. Let me shuffle again, y'all, okay? Hold on, hold on. Let me do it again. What's going on? that wanted to flip and say uh oh who child somebody always broke with a poor mindset left out in the cold they feeling left out in the cold Jim and I went on spirit so somebody's going through some type of poverty or lack of right now they're feeling left out Ooh, spirit what's going on they all want to flip but I don't okay Somebody's feeling left out from a very, someone that's a wonderful, yeah, Gemini, they feeling left out from you, baby, okay? You done made the judgment call. One judgment call does it all to cut their ass out and move to karma water. <laughs> yeah, Gemini, now this person's all in their head because you had to give yourself justice, bitch, okay? Yes, you did. You broke their heart. I mean, I mean, I don't know what they want from you, though. Why are they feeling left out in the cold, Spear? Why is this energy feeling left out of the cold from Gemini? Or Gemini, this is you feeling left out of the cold from someone who you think is sexy, hot. I mean, an, an excellent manifester. We got the Queen of Wands and the Magician, child. And you done left Gemini and went to Calmer Waters. And um, now this person's mentally entrapped in their head. Or somebody led. Okay, hold on. Moon in reverse. This is something you don't even know, child. They're going through badass karma. Lord, they... What is this? These cards are not... Yeah, they're not in reverse, honey, but they... And they want to come back and make an offer towards you. Manipulation. I don't like this offer. Number one, it's a page offer with a fish in the damn cup. Okay, right underneath the magician. So this is a trickster. This is somebody that... In the upright, the magician is good. You know what I mean? And this person wants to come off good, though. Because they started off in one of the lower vibrational energies of five of pentacles. And this is a secret that you don't know. Or maybe Gemini, you in poor, you in the poor house and you don't want, and you're going through karma right now. And you don't want nobody to know. And you want to go towards a fire sign or a fire sign want to come towards you. Okay. Um, and make a, a, a fish cup offer because this person is stagnated right now. They want to move the karma waters towards this empress energy. Someone that makes things grow. That's a healing, loving energy. Okay, 
um, 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 and they feel that they come, yeah. So what's the Eight of Swords, Spirit? The Eight of Swords, somebody is stuck. They're mentally entrapped or either physically entrapped in jail. Okay, so who's traveling to jail, though? I was, uh, so this person traveled to jail, so maybe they went to jail. Maybe they went to jail behind the Queen of Wands and they manifested some bullshit. Now they stuck trying to wait to get out of jail for some of them, and now they just got bad karma. They, I mean, once they got out of jail, where are they going to work? Who's going to hire them? You know what I mean? So now they know that you were the loving, nurturing, healed one. So now here they come, wanting to come towards you, Gemini. Uh-uh. So this person might be locked up, like Akon. They won't let them out. And, uh, not that Akon is locked up, but you know that song. But somebody is feeling in poverty, or they're in a lack mindset. What's the five of uh, pinnacle spirit? What's the Five of Pentacles, Holy Spirit? Something being illuminated about the past. So the past that led this month. This Queen of Wands that led your person out into poverty, child. Show did. The King of Swords energy. Yes. Mm, they want to communicate that they don't have very much, honey. What they invested in. Ooh, yeah. They have invested in some Queen of Wands energy that led them out into poverty. Caused a fucking tower. This person's all emotional in their feels and stuff because they married the bitch possibly. And now they wait and come and where from I'm from, trying to go down your path. They think, well, let me go down Gemini's path because they once was my world. I'm hearing Mary J. Blige share my world. And here they come with that raggedy ass little, um, I'm hearing, um, bronze tin, bronze tin cup trying to travel towards you. Child, look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Child, like they want to take action, travel towards you in this page of wands energy. They got all these babies up here, child. So they are very immature. And I said that because they're supposed to be an emperor low key. Now they want to come take charge, but they're going to go do it in page energy. They want to take all these motions towards the empress in page energy because they're not sure. Yeah, they're in track because you're going to, yeah, you're going to question. You want to know what the fuck had happened. Where did you go to? Some of them are going to lie and say they went to jail, and then some of them are going to let you know they got somebody pregnant, and they got with the Queen of Wands, and it was all shit downhill from there. Now they're going to want to let you know that they've come back, they're coming back, or they're looking at things from a different perspective, or they're still hot and passionate about you, and they sorry, and all that bullshit. It's only because they're going through karma, which you don't even know, because they're going to try to come like they're doing good, manifesting their best life, and they want a relationship with you. They want another contract with you. They want to get into something with you, Gemini. Tell me what is this, um, what is the Queen of Wands spirit? What's the Queen of Wands? The Queen of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, something stuck with them. Okay, they got bad karma. Illusions. That person, she caught him in an illusion. She's the Queen of Wands. What up? The Queen of Wands broke this person's heart, juggled them out, okay? Possibly was already married and ghosted your person. And now this person's all stressed out. And oh my God, because they're single. Now they were left behind and now they want to come casting over you with this Knight of Cups in this Ten of Cups energy. So they got God like Bomba Clock. Uh, yeah, they did. They sure did. They got a dose of their own medicine. So they were very, they were manipulated. They manipulated, they manipulated you, left you, and went straight to jail when they went in with this Queen of, uh, 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 what is the Eight of Swords spirit? What's the Eight of Swords? The Queen of Swords, okay. What, wait, I don't. Walked away. Soon as they walked away, or somebody walked away, somebody, yeah, Empress, you walked away from them. So pretty much they turned their back on you and left you for this Queen of Wands energy who got them an illusion. And the tower came crashing down because they got into a higher level, possibly married or either had a baby with the person, but possibly two kids from this person they manifested out of this relationship. And now you didn't turn your back and walked away. Okay, became the empress, and now they're stuck all in their head, mentally entrapped, waiting for their ships to come in and spying on you, spying on you, watching you get this brand new beginning, okay, this generational wealth, as you're cutting them out, you don't want the relationship no more, you're, you're like, no, bitch, because your back is turned towards this person, you're not looking back, you're moving forward straight ahead, uh-huh, and this person is defeated, I'm sorry, they're feeling defeated and foolish, because they caused all this conflict for no damn reason. And they're, yeah, this is just, this is karma. This is karma. Okay, you could be dealing with a Libra. A Libra could have done this to you, okay? Or you could be do, do, done this to a Libra. 
okay? Um, and things have stopped. They slow down now. There's nothing, there's no forward movement, or if it is, it's very slow. It's pretty much to a halt to nothing. And this person is literally heartbroken because they're financially imbalanced now with this Wheel of Fortune in reverse. And they want to come back and ask you for some type of forgiveness. Yeah, for leaving you out in the cold, for ghosting you, okay? And they're all in their head. They haven't been able, they haven't been right ever since. So now they want to come charging straight back to you because they feel that you're possibly about to get into a higher level of commitment very, very soon with your emperor energy, a real man or woman, okay? Yeah, they're going to come charging back right before talking about how, because they're, they're in the regretful, sad energy because... They're still in their King of Wands concubine energy, and you don't want nothing to do with that, Gemini. Look at you. You like, bitch, no, I don't want you. Okay? And Spirit said, that is the truth, because I am healed, baby. I am healed, and I'm in my own wish fulfillment, and I'm being celebrated and successful. I'm going out with my homegirls, homeboys, my friends, my loved ones, my family. Okay? You're getting acclimated. You're being celebrated. Okay? And you have options. You're manifesting your best life. Spirit said, that is the truth. And by you getting into this higher level of commitment and choosing to go down a wrong, uh, I mean, a, not a wrong path, another path while this person went down the wrong path, you're starting out brand new beginnings while this person is stuck. You're stepping into your power and you're walking right into your other counterpart, Empress, Empress right here. And then we got the four of wands right there while this person has to sit back and watch you walk away and get into this higher level of commitment and balance out your life. Uh, and you know this, man. And there's your instant transformation. Whatever is, it's, it's an ending to your single life. No more single, single, no more single life. You're getting married. You're going into a higher level of commitment. You have transformed completely. This was pre-impress energy, single, abundant. You run your empires, your businesses, your healing and nurturing to other people. And this left out in the cold energy thinks that they want to come back and offer you a ten of cups. But judgment has already been called on this relationship, this situation. It's already been called. Spirit has already ordered you and your steps have been ordered through spirit to cut it. Okay? Cut it. Cut them out. Cut them out. Cut them out. And now that's why you're victorious and successful and you're able to move forward and you're getting you're getting you're getting victory and success while this person's getting wounded. Okay? While they're getting wounded, blaming everybody in around them for their poverty mindset, for shit going down on them. Like they don't take accountability for themselves. So you cut them out, Gemini, and now you're focused on nothing but work and your happiness. That's what you're doing. You're focused on work and your happiness. Okay, some of y'all are about to have another baby with your emperor, okay? at child, For those of you at childbearing ages, and if not, you're going to just have an extended family. You could do some adopting for some of you, not everybody, okay? You guys could get a couple of animals and stuff. That could be your kid. But anyway, you're cutting out and you're standing your ground. You're speaking your truth, okay? You could be dealing with an attorney or you could be an attorney, but you guys could be in law. Yeah, your counterpart's here. Your counterpart is here, okay? Um, and you're getting married to your emperor, okay? So, yeah. And your past doesn't like that, Gemini. And they want to communicate and they're going to try to stop it and probably bogart their way. To stop this shit. Oh, hell no. Uh -uh. I don't like any of that. But Gemini, they're going to be jealous. They're jealous because you got a new boo. You're moving forward. Shit didn't work out over where they at. Now they want to come back, but it's too late because they let a good thing go. And now you stepped into your empress and to meet your emperor. And now you're going to ride on off. You're going to ride on off, Gemini, into the sunset, babies. Okay. So that's been your reading right there, my loves. Congratulations. Good job, you guys. I love this reading. I feel it in my heart shopper for you guys. You guys have done the work. You've been patient. You've been diligent. And you're not even worried about when this ember is coming. He's just going to show up because you just decided to work on yourself and your happiness. Divine says, good job. Let me give you a little gift because you ain't worried about the shit. You know I got you. You healing. You focus on healing. You focus on me. You're not focused on the earthly, mundane things of this earth. And so, therefore, I'm going to bless you with an emperor, Miss Empress, okay? Or I'm going to bless you with an empress, Mr. Emperor. Congratulations, boo, okay? So, yeah, because you're healed. And you weren't afraid to let things go. You weren't afraid to move forward. You didn't stay stuck in this hangman energy. You didn't hold out. To, you didn't hold on to hurt and pain and PTSD. And you didn't stay in this wounded warrior energy, you know, blaming this person and making your future person 
pay for the mistakes that the past person did. You were able to move forward, okay? You were able to heal. You were able to be victorious and successful. Where is the, uh, yeah, you're able to be victorious and successful because you received clarity on why, what happened, what, why you went through what you went through. You got downloads from spirits. You accepted it. You became a babe. You know what I mean? You put in the work. You did. And now you're here at this happiness, and now you're, you got your emperor, empress, and this person's entrapped in their head because now they, now this is this is in for the rest of their life. They're going to be missing out on all type of love opportunities. I'm hearing love. They won't find love. They're going to be stuck on love while they watch you go and find the real damn thing. Okay, Gemini's, I spin your reading. So yeah, I like this reading, you guys. So somebody in poverty is sad because you doing you moving forward. They're gonna try to bamboozle your way, but you you it, I, I don't know why they're gonna do what they do. They just need to just move on at the end of the day. Because you've moved on. So I'm going to end your reading right there, my love bugs. And until next time, take care. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Don't forget to thumbs up, like, share, or subscribe, whatever you want to do. But help support the channel. And until next time, I'll see y'all soon. Bye.